left a message on the board. What's the matter? My husband is a soldier. A true Spartan. When he is home, I play the lyre softly while he tells me of his battles and strokes my hair. I'm not interested in your home life, musician. Get to the point. I want to send him a lock of my hair. But we are Spartan. He might like it better if I dedicated the death of an Athenian leader to him. How oh, sweet. It is good to be in love, Mistyos. I'm supposed to deliver it? Yes. It needs to get there in one piece. I'll help you. You have my word. Thank the muses. May the gods guide you. musician told me you needed this. Ah, yes. I was wondering when this would arrive. Here, your payment. <laughs> Come on. Easy. Bella. Poseidon's power is strong here. <laughs> Yvette! Anything a mercenary can do for you, merchant? Pirates are making the waters unsafe for travelers. Sounds like I need to sink some pirate ships. Exactly, my friend. The horizon must be cleared. I have better things to do. Please, reconsider.
These people sure like building boats. Off we go now. You, come here. I need your help with something. Come to see the richest man in Achaia, have you? You don't look rich. The richest person in any land is the one who wants for the least. And I want for nothing at all. Rich, wanting for nothing, and calling me over to help. Doesn't make sense. Ah! <laughs> A mind that thinks for itself. Someone save me from this horror. <sighs> relax, relax. The name's Democritos. Renowned thinker of thoughts, writer of rights, and questioner of answers. I'm... Alexios. And... I've never heard of you. Probably says more about you than me, Alexios. <laughs> now you came here to help, hmm? So happens I've uncovered the whereabouts of three divine mathematical discoveries. Mathematical discoveries? Really? Yes, really. The theorems, when combined with my own, will unlock the greatest mystery in the universe. Which, as you know, is a place where mysteries strive to remain locked. Bring these three theorems to me, and I will reward you handsome. So, you get the theorems, and I get the reward. From a man who seems completely disinterested in Drachmi. <laughs> Drachmi is for idiots! What I offer is far greater than that. But first, the theorems. Fine. What are they? Only the greatest achievements of rational thought. The original transcriptions of the Golden Ratio, the Pythagorean Theorem, and Zeno's Paradox. Where am I going to find the Pythagorean Theorem? It's all around you, of course. Deceptively simple, but subtly mysterious. The equation was apparently etched in stone. I heard the tale it was lost in sunken ruins between three islands that form a triangle. About the golden ratio. Ah, the divine number. It's a guiding principle in architecture, sculpture, and is found in nature too. 
The original is wasting away in the dirty hands of sculptors in Argos. It should be with a mathematician. Like me. <laughs> Tell me about Zeno's paradox. Myself excluded. <laughs> Zeno Evelia was the world's brightest philosopher, known for writing paradoxes that could stump anyone. His work was thought destroyed, but I happen to know the priests in Locris saved it. I'll find these theorems for you. Come back as soon as you have one. Commander at the helm!
this? Golden ratio. The Mokiritos will want to know I found it. These bronze statues could rival even Phidias' finest work. Got to be careful not to get spotted. That's how the real Eagle Bearer deals with pirates! Yeah. Ella! Come on, come on! That's what I'm looking for. Let's go.
the documents Democritus wants. This isn't even math. It's a child's fable. Here, Democritus. Alexios! <laughs> what have you brought me? It took some doing, but I found the Pythagorean theorem. The greatest breakthrough the world will ever know. And now we have it in its original glory. <laughs> Why? Did Pythagoras invent the triangle? Great minds don't invent. They discover. Pythagoras discovered that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So I found Zeno's paradox. You did? <laughs> and what did you think of it? Just some silly riddle. What? <laughs> no! The tortoise arrives at the point, Achilles, who is chasing it, runs after him. But after Achilles arrives at the same point, the tortoise has moved on. By the time Achilles arrives at the tortoise's new spot, the creature has again moved further. It shows how the universe divides itself infinitely. A mathematical theory hidden in a child's fable. Zeno was clever. Every knowledgeable old man I've ever met was an idiot. <laughs> But the minds of children are endlessly wise. I found the original golden ratio. A discovery that will change the course of existence. If you say so, it's just a rectangle to me. Open your eyes. That rectangle is two shapes. A rectangle, yes, but also a square. 
the length of sides A and B is to the length of the side A, as A is to B. So how can this theory be used? Used? <laughs> it isn't used, only observed. It is the divine balance occurring naturally in the most measurably beautiful places in the world. It is everywhere. And nowhere. That was a lot to take in, but I think I found everything. You did. And with this, I can finally form my grand theory. The theory that simultaneously divides and unites all the universe. Sounds fun, but I'm not here for your theories. I did this to get paid. Shame. It's been a while since I had a student, and there was a moment I thought I found one in you. I was wrong, but you did as you were asked. For that, take this. I'm a Mystios, not a student. Nice working with you, Demokritos.
Technon Media. Set sail! Helm's ready for you, Commander! Oh, 
Bardavas, what's that large landmass up ahead? It's Crete, land of histories and heroes. The Seos and the Minotaur. Know the story? Parts of it. The Seos was an Athenian hero. It wasn't a very popular tale in Sparta. Ah, it's an epic story. The Seos ventured into the labyrinth to slay the Minotaur. An unsurmountable task. Get the triumph and... Other positions! Just keep an eye on my Drachni. Warrior! Welcome to Pefka, home of the Minotaur, and our world-famous Minotaur tunics! Tunics! Minotaur tunics! One size fits all. I don't see how one size can fit everyone. My name's Arsenios. If you want to know how to defeat the Minotaur and become the Greek world's most famous warrior, then this is the tour for you! You sell it well, kid. Let's go on your tour. Uh, you're not worried someone's going to steal your world-famous Minotaur tunics? Who would? They're tunics for Minotaurs. As you can see from the statues, the Minotaurs have picked some more. So don't forget this exclusive tour, Deep! And that can be hates being stabbed! Thank you, Larry! An exact replica of the Minotaur. Actual Minotaur size may vary. Where is the rest of him? Up the hill. Some of the workers lost control moving into the place. It killed two of them. Horn stored them clean apart. Well, not clean apart. Sounds like even Minotaur statues are deadly. Oh, they're the deadliest. They say the Seos himself was killed by a Minotaur statue.
whether Theseus was crushed by the Minotaur, or by a large statue shaped like the Minotaur, he was nothing compared to me. I will succeed where he failed. Oh, a confident warrior. Perhaps he'll be the first to return. Uh, let's just continue the tour. Hey, in Pefka, the hero's always right. This way. Look out! That rock's actually a Minotaur dropping. I've been in this business. Warriors from all over the Aegean come to Pefka to face the mighty Minotaur, hoping to claim his head as the ultimate prize. So far, well... <clears throat> he's killed all of them, but drinking freshly squeezed Minotaur hoof elixir will no doubt give you the oomph you need to... And let me guess, you've got a vial ready for purchase. It's just like Petter always said, Never leave home without the ground-up hooves of a mythical creature. You never know when you'll need some... Minotaur hoof elixir. You've made a wise purchase, my physically responsible friend. Now come, there's so much more to see. I'm not saying I'm responsible for breaking the Minotaur statue, but I'm also not saying I'm not responsible. <laughs> And so concludes our tour. That's the tour? I didn't learn anything about the Minotaur. My customers are always satisfied. You can pay my associates on your way out. Please enjoy the rest of your stay here in Pefka. You're not going to get one drag me out of me. No, not one. I'm getting all of it. Get him! Don't damage his Come ears! On. for your fantastic friendship tour. A pleasure doing business with you. Hey! Yeah? What's it like being a Mystios? Uh, could be worse. Can I interest you in purchasing some fermented Minotaur trappings, or...? Are you really going to try that on me again?
Ah, a mighty specimen approaches. Are you ready for honor? For glory? For certain death? I'm ready for two-thirds of that. Then you seek combat with... The Minotaur! I can't see any labyrinths or golden balls of string, but if there is a Minotaur to be fought, I'm listening. Then listen well, my observant friend. If you slay the Minotaur, you would be Theseus reborn! And you'd get to take home the prize of Pefka! Your Minotaur must die. Sounds like we have another contender! It's time for the trials of the Minotaur! Three trials. Did you just say Minotaur pre-trials? To face the Minotaur, you must first prove yourself worthy by completing three heroic trials. We can't let people fresh off their Teremis casually stroll to their deaths. Kafka policy. What do these pre-trials require me to do exactly? There's the trial of strength, where you fight the greatest warrior in all of Crete. The trial of accuracy. Which only a keen eye can overcome, and a trial of endurance, where you must brave the water. One of your trials is swimming? That's... Uh, this is a scheme to fleece me. <gasps> Mystios! I... that's... Uh, how could you even think such a thing? You're a terrible person. What exactly is the prize of Pefka? Why, it's limitless riches, of course. Warriors defeated by the Minotaur no longer need their drachmi. So we collect their coins into a grand prize that only a champion who kills the beast may claim. Your grand prize is drachmi looted from the dead? Mystios, please believe me. Many of the coins go straight to the Lato school for children whose parents were tragically killed by the Minotaur. I see. I'll do your trials. Pre-trials! I'll do your pre-trials. But then the Minotaur's head is mine. Fantastic! Don't forget to collect tokens of success from the trial masters to prove your victories. Ugh, another champion here to save us all from Pefka's long queues and overpriced Minotaur merchandise. Ah, may I introduce my wife, Cory? A rare beauty and so... so loud front of my new friend. <laughs> Please, Leandros, there are more important things than glory. Not everyone with a sword seeks glory. Family comes before all else. Exactly, Mistios. That's what I keep telling this cowardly slime in the shape of my husband. Hey! It's... it's our daughter. Your daughter? Amara. 
She ran off days ago. I'm sure she's... she's just fine. Don't worry about the matter. Not when there's a Minotaur to slay. Grrr! Slash! Slash! Big fight! Lots of blood! Think of the fame, Mistios. Think of winning the prize of Pefka! Please, trust me, Siapio. Nothing is what it seems in Pefka. Solving one problem may just solve all the others. Go, my legendary friend. The pre-trials of the Minotaur await. A maximum of three members per Minotaur hunting party. Gorgeous yourself Minotaur-themed merchandise is mandatory before proceeding. No legendary warriors, friendly heroes, or legitimate gods, demi, semi, or otherwise, are eligible to fight the Minotaur. And no pushing. You'll all get a chance at dismemberment. Who among you is afraid? Who among you is frail or weak? Who among you is strong?